Hey guys, this is Fuller, we're back to the Demon Hunt Hero. I'm starting to implement all the cards into the mod, so I just wanted to go over some of the suggestions, new cards and balance tweaks you all suggested. For more details on the Hotso mod, check out the description. Alright, let's go. So first off, the hero power. Some of you pointed out that it doesn't quite go with having lots of spellproof minions in your deck, as you can't even target a lot of your own minions to buff them up. I believe I've got the perfect alternative. Same name, give a minion minus one health and deal one damage to the enemy hero. So you can still use it to clear the board, but now it's much more aggressive, chipping away at the enemy hero, and we don't even care about trying to buff up friendly minions. It's also very short and simplistic, feeling like a real Hearthstone ability. What do you guys think? On to Spellproof, the ability, one of you suggested an alternate name instead, that is Spell Shield. Now I've gotten so used to Spellproof, it feels natural to me, but I'm always open to alternatives if it makes the game clearer. Last time I made a bit of a blunder as I didn't add secrets to the hero. I got modelled up, sorry for that, so let's get into them. This was my favourite one from the last version and I kept it as it is. Exhaust for 2 mana whenever your opponent summons a minion, silence it and then give it minus 2, minus 2. A cross between Snipe and Earthshock, it also goes really well with the new Chaotic Ritual. You can spread Silence and minus 2, minus 2 onto all enemy minions, clearing the board relatively cheaply. So the new Exhaust, I've renamed it and modified it to Drain Power. For 4 mana, give all enemy minions minus 1, minus 1. And for each enemy minion, give a random friendly minion plus 1, plus 1. This works much more in conjunction with a spellproof minion you have down. You steal stats and transfer them, taking or making a huge Caraba Guard or Varidus. And if you have no minions down, you can at least cast this for a weakish Consecrate if you're really desperate. As for Caraba Guard, there were some suggestions to make it a 4-3 instead of a 3-4. This would be more in line with the aggro theme of the hero. It does mean though that some 2 drops can take it out, but also at least you can take out many 4 drops with this minion, so possibly a good trade off. Next Demon Axe, 1 mana 3-1 weapon. Now compared to rock by a weapon, it's pretty weak. So how about this new one, now for 1 mana it's 2-1. But whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain plus two attack. Now you can leave it equipped and potentially build it up a bit, assassinating a fairly big minion for just one mana, provided you can hang on to the weapon without it being destroyed. For Demon Assassin, some felt it was a bit out of place. If we wanted a less board control version and more aggro tempo themed, here's an alternative. For six mana, it's six five with death rattle deals six damage to the enemy hero much like a slower, deadlier Nightblade. Compared to, say, Fire Elemental, you get no instant effect, it's just a big body with a lot of damage. It can be silenced or blocked by taunts, and your opponent can always kill you before the death rattle goes off. But even in a fast aggro deck, running one of these could be considered. On to Warglaive of Azanoth. I made a complete alternative one, much more in line with Sword of Justice. For free mana, it's 1 free, and whenever the enemy hero takes damage, summon 2 2 1 Flames of Azanoth, and this loses 1 durability. So the stats are pretty terrible, but the effect is really powerful. If you have a minion down, you can instantly attack, triggering the effect. And of course, you can just attack with the weapon, but you're going to lose an extra durability that way. I really like this version, you can overwhelm your opponent quickly and early on. Back to secrets, I reused two we had last time, I like them so much. Immolate, I kept this one exactly the same. When a minion takes damage, prevent it and deal one damage to all enemies. Really good with spellproof minions, most likely the only way to kill them is with AoE damage like a flame strike, which this can prevent, or attacking into it, which again this can prevent the damage. For mana burn, I buffed it just slightly. When your opponent casts a spell, deal 4 damage to him and empty a mana crystal. Last time it was only 3 damage. It's already a very conditional card, it's great versus coin and other tempo spells like preparation and innovate. On to enslaved demons, some of you didn't like this one, I thought it was really interesting to add in some enslaved demons and the effect was pretty cool. It could always be made into a neutral and perhaps made a 2-8 like Deathlord, it's always an option. 
For the legendary Varadis, I got completely mixed reviews. Some stating it's wildly overpowered, whilst others saying it's terrible and way too weak. It could be put back to the old stats, which was 5 mana for free. This would make it a more expensive croc on elite with added spellproof and a mana burn effect. Now alternatively, here's another legendary, it is Lady Vash, some of you asked for her, keeping with the disrupting enemy play theme. For 6 mana, she's 5-7 with, whenever your opponent plays a card, deal 3 damage to the enemy hero. Really good when your opponent's close to death as a finisher, anything he plays takes damage, even a removal. And here's a brand new spell someone suggested, it is Curse of Karaba. I made it for 2 mana, enemy cards cost 1 more next turn. Basically the legendary Varadis power instantly on your opponent in spell form. So like Lothab you could set up a board then play this as a finisher. Lastly onto Metamorphosis there were some balance concerns of this, it might have to be 3 mana at least. Being able to deal 3 and then 4 damage every turn if there's no taunts could be a bit much. I don't feel, think the spell should be any bigger though, as it's mostly a tempo aggro themed hero. Alright guys, that's it for all the updates, next up we got the Witch Doctor. So if you have any ideas, new cards, balance suggestions, anything, email it to me. Again leave a comment, I love to read them, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks guys, and see you next time.